Hello, hello. Welcome back. It is Dana. We are here to do Felicity Season 1, Episode 7. It is called Drawing the Line Part 1. So this is our very first, I assume, two-part episode. And I'm a little annoyed because I did just watch Season 6 about 10 minutes ago. And I'm watching Season 7 right now, but I did not have any plans to watch Episode 8. And I'm concerned that that might have to change now that I realize that this is the first of a two-parter. I'm really bad at um, following up on things, which is why binge-watching TV has been such a godsend for me. And I think it's why I missed a lot of shows in my youth, because being gone for a week or on hiatus for, you know, nine months, I could not remember what happened from one episode to the next. So I have a feeling that I might be watching episode eight sooner than intended. But regardless, that said, last week, which was like 10 minutes ago, I watched, um, it was the episode Cheating, where Felicity rewrote Ben's paper, and I was a little disappointed in the fact that, I shouldn't say disappointed, but I was, it was un, um, un, it was unrealistic that neither of them actually seemed to get into any trouble um, based on the paper. Yes, they both failed the paper, but that was it. Um, realistically, at the very least, Felicity should have gotten, like, a zero for the class and possibly, like, expelled for a semester or something. Um, but more realistically, she very well may have gotten expelled. I don't know, um, if the zero tolerancy sort of stuff was as prominent and as prevalent in the late 90s as it is today. So maybe I'm wrong about that, but it does seem like the two of them got off very easy. The only repercussions was that they were both going to fail the paper, which the professor went out of his way to say that that does mean it's going to be difficult for you guys, like, to do well in this class. Um, so I'm guessing that paper is heavily weighted. I don't really know that much about it. Um, I'm also drinking tea. Yes, it's 85 degrees here, but I am still drinking tea. So... Um, I think that's it. Uh, there was a little bit of Julie and Zach stuff, which I was a big fan of. There was a little bit of Elena and Sca uh, Tin Man stuff, which I was less interested in. Um, but really it was mostly focused around the fact that Felicity rewrote his paper. He's concerned that everyone thinks he's stupid. They're trying to tell him he's not. So we'll have to see going forward. But I think it's going to be a little eggshelly between Felicity and Ben, at least for right now. But maybe something is going to happen in this two-parter that changes that completely. The only way we're going to find out is if we watch it. So let's do it right now. Felicity, Season 1, Episode 7, Drawing the Line, Part 1. Let's go. Previously on Felicity. Okay. Okay. Right. Yeah, it's always about Ben. No, no, wait a minute. It's always about Ben. Everybody seems to like Ben. Does everybody like Ben? Seems like. Okay, here's my problem. Oh, you've got problems too? Guy on my floor. Let's hear it. Who's in love with this girl? He's got he's got a real connection with her. That's that's what he tells me. Uh, but she keeps coming to him with problems about another guy. Dude, he's mm -hmm. got the nice guy friend thing. Mm -hmm. Except that, that he swears there's a spark. You just can't make it happen somehow. I'm sorry, uh, but this resident advisors meeting is supposed to be about the new fire code. Chill out. Oh, that's what's happening here? <laughs> Who the hell let her be a resident advisor? And he doesn't know what to do, and, and, and I don't know what to tell him. So this is about you? And he's got to draw the line. Yeah, draw the line. Do they all know it's him? He's got he's to draw the line. Yeah, that's kind of obvious. And what they all said repeatedly. Which is maybe why it's obvious. So... Obviously, this means that Noel... I don't know. I mean, Felicity... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how I feel. I want to be Team Noel. I think the show is trying to set us up to be Team Ben. Like, I think she and Ben are supposed to be Endgame. Even though I would prefer her to be with Noel. But it doesn't seem like she has or had any interest in Noel until they went out on that maybe date. 
And then he told her he had a girlfriend, even though they could see other people. And then everything sort of fell apart after that. But then other stuff got in the way. So we'll have to see. What's she saying to Sally? Let's hear it. Do you want to hear a weird word? Always. Budinsky. That's yeah, a name. It's, it's actually a person given to Budinsky. A troublesome meddler. Oh. I was thinking something else, I guess. I, I don't mean to be. But you but are. You are. <laughs> I am a troublesome meddler. I rewrote Ben's essay. He's still mad. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure he's never going to forgive me. He probably will, but you gotta give him some time, man. God, I am such a Budinsky. You really are. I mean, she's on hold with the financial aid office. That always sucks. They never know what's going on. Because I don't know if I'm staying here. Is now a good time for me to ask what the hell you're talking about? Obviously not. I'll call you later. You probably won't. But if you can't afford to stay... Financial aid office is always fucking shit up. Oh, that's exciting. Oh. That's awesome! That's awesome! Anyway, I wanted to add some music in a couple scenes, some guitar stuff. Longer than three hours, I'll pay you. <laughs> <laughs> so you do it? Of course. I'm so proud of you. Oh, me too. See, they're a nice little couple. I just, I like Uh oh, who do you think? Sorry, are you in bed? Screwing? No. Talking? No. No. Existing in the same space? Sort of. Oh, if I were Julia, I'd be like, don't leave me alone with her. She's mean. What? Are you not talking to me? No, I'm talking to you, see? I'm talking to you right now. Ugh, leave him alone, I told you. No, he needs go, some space. So, I don't know what to do. If what I did just destroyed... What oh, I God, I Noel's gonna kill her. <laughs> then I guess I have to live with that. Yeah. The whole paper thing happened. We were getting closer, I mean... Developing something. But you, you have yeah, to live I, with the repercussions from what you did. Stay away from him. I've been giving you the same advice. You know, there's, there's something I gotta do. Draw the line. I've, I've gotta draw. Come on. Draw. You can do it, Noel. A comparison. Oh. Between. I guess you can. Something that, that happened in front of me. Oh, tell me. Go to his apartment. What? Say you left something there. No. And while you're looking for whatever it is, you'll have a little more chance for conversation. No, this is a bad idea. No. <clears throat> Your advice should be to stay away. You are such a good friend. I can't stand it. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say, he can't stand being your friend either, because he wants to be your boyfriend. Mm. Hey. Hey, it's you! Did you touch my box? Open it? No one even knew you had a box. Well, how did it move? Well, where was it? the box. It brings up You're weird. Just take your box with you. Do they know it's girl. him? I can't tell. That's what I gotta do. Is Ben here? <clears throat> no. Girl. I left my notebook here last time. Have you seen it? Um, no, I don't think so. What color is it? Oh, it's blue. Oh, I was gonna guess red. But I can't believe what I did rewriting your paper. Ugh. <clears throat> I really think that I've grown up a lot in the past. 
past week. <laughs> in the past week. Hey, so are you gonna be mad at me forever? Maybe. I'm not mad at you. I am. I'm nothing. Mm, that doesn't sound good. At least if you're mad, like, he cares enough to be mad. I think I but if you're nothing, the notebook in Julie's room. that's disappointing. But he looks so much better with facial hair. Just so we're all aware of this. So I went to Ben's apartment. Okay. Of course it's about it Ben. Horrible. I, I told him that I left a notebook there, but I'm pretty sure he knew I was making it up. <clears throat> Draw the line. Draw it. What? I'm drawing a line. Yes. Wait, what? Yeah. Um, I don't want to talk about you and Ben anymore. There I'm, you I'm go, Noel. your girlfriend. I know it seems weird and it may be selfish, but I don't want to be that guy. You know, the one who always comes and talks to you about that other guy. Mm-hmm. It's really... It the hell out of me. And that's... That's why I'm drawing the line. Mm-hmm. You and I... What? Can't talk about Ben. Don't you get about that's this, right. Felicity? Anything else, though? Oh, um... I mean, I'll, I'll just... I'll talk to you later. Yeah. Okay. But not about Ben. There you go. Okay. And we'll see how this turns out. I love like each other so much. I love how happy she is. God, I'm so jealous it's embarrassing. <laughs> I mean, I'm sort of so jealous of her and Zach. Oh. Oh wait, this okay, I'm annoyed about this, but I don't want her to get kicked out. Is she getting kicked out? I'm like trying to see what name is on the door. Like, is it financial aid or? Okay. So he knows is what I meant, like what was going on. Elena's not there. Hmm. I just saw her in the financial aid office. Why? I thought maybe you'd know. Mm. Nope. Oh, no. Well, you can't take everything Elena does so personally. You do with Ben? Mm. Yeah, but that's me and Ben. I wouldn't worry about Elena. I work in the admissions office for work study, and there are always all these files of students having financial trouble. I mean, it could be anything. They may have just lost it. You work in the admissions office? Oh. Yeah. No, I mean, I, I can't look at her file. Oh. <laughs> but you are a Budinsky. Elena said she might have to leave. I think something serious is going on. I'm not going to ask you to read a file. Thank you. I really think that's crossing the line. Yeah. She's going to do it anyway, isn't she? But. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, no surprise there. Cut to Felicity in the admissions office. In the box, shaking the box. This is totally unacceptable. What is? This line. This, this line you've drawn. How dare you draw a line? Who are you to draw a line? You walked in on him in the middle of the night. A conditional friendship? I don't, um, I don't know what you mean by that. What? It means that you are setting boundaries on our conversation. Oh. It means you should There's be doing this in the morning. That's just because you have feelings for me. I'm happy. Uh -huh. I can't help feel it for me. But Felicity. And since when has it been all about Ben? Always. And you never talk this? about a single other you thing. Know, insisting you're just fine being my friend and turning Doing into his homework for him and, and following him around like some lovesick schoolgirl. Ah. You know what? What? <laughs> Maybe I am a lovesick schoolgirl. Uh, okay, but that wasn't really like a gotcha retort to leave on. I would kill her okay, if she good. came in at like 2 a.m. to do this to me, if I were Noel. Yeah, this thing isn't fun. I would not like her anymore, I'm pretty sure. Scott, did you talk to Elena? No. But Felicity's helping me out with that. Mm. I don't want to talk about Felicity. Man, she pushes your butt. 
Felicity's trouble, it's over. Mm. He won't write me. Okay. But she's got a good heart. Yeah, that's what I said. I like Last episode, I think. You know that guy I told you about? With the girl? Well, oh. One. Yours is so boring. Yeah, Everyone else's stuff is interesting, Noel. Um, she get really pissed off. That's normal. Yeah? Have we seen her with that guitar since like the first or second episode? I guess you like it. Just moved you off, buddy. Twice now. Let's go Do we think that had anything to do with what Elena said? Because it seemed like she really liked him. Speaking of Elena, what's going on with her? Felicity, go to your admissions job so we can see. Oh, I guess you already did. What'd you find out? Oh, she's packing? Hi. Thought I'd catch you before you left school forever and I never saw you again. Yeah, it's been a crazy week. Oh. I know your scholarship didn't go through. Because Felicity's a Bedinsky. It doesn't make enough money to help, but just enough so you don't qualify for most financial aid. But I've got something for you. Uh, I don't think she's going to want to accept whatever it is you've got. Unless it's like a work-study thing. There are these, there's this old woman who offers <clears throat> a private scholarship. Read the qualifications. African-American female from New York or New Jersey. Pre-med, moderate to low-income family with one parent, attending a New York college. I called the woman just to see if there was even so it's available. You should call that woman. Does she have two parents? Is that what the problem is? I asked a friend to check your file. Felicity. You wouldn't tell me anything. I didn't know what else to do. Who else do you know who works in admissions? Felicity looked up my phone. Yeah, as a favor to me, so I could help. You better call that woman. Felicity is going to be in trouble again. She tries to do things out of the goodness of her heart, but she's so bad at it. Okay, look, I'm, I'm, I'm here to redraw the line. Oh, oh really? Ben. Yeah. Well, you can't just do that. Yes, of course I can. I drew it. The, the line is a symptom of some fundamental discord. Hold on, let me explain to you. Yes, and you know you can you can come and talk to me about anything, including Ben, but mm -hmm. excluding sex. I can I can put up with hearing about it. I just think that where did you find this? So did you just look in the ghetto file? So much trouble. My record is my business. Having my tuition paid because I don't have as much money as you or your friends, or because I'm black, I'd rather not stay. Well, I just turned down. I went to Elkins Academy. It's in Westchester, one of those oh. Frank and Ivy schools where the kids had nicer cars than the teachers. You know why I went there? You know, for two reasons, Elkins took me for this. I am black, and I am underprivileged. They also asked why. It didn't matter. That scholarship I was supposed to get, 
It was awarded to me based on merit. Yeah, I, I know. Not race. Not income. I'm not going to be a cliche. So thanks for your handout. But no thanks. All right, listen. I think she's wrong in this instance, Elena. Now. She's right in the fact that Felicity should have stayed the fuck out of it, and she shouldn't be digging into her files in the admissions office. However, that's what scholarships are for, to target specific people in specific instances and specific populations. The like, office, and you're supposed to take, like, anyone you can get. This, uh, guy. Oh my god. No! No one cares about your stupid stories. What does she say, man? That they aren't uh, really friends anymore. You know what? Just quit playing games and be honest with her. You already told her you like her, right? But what about Hannah? Right? Yeah, be a good friend. And if it's ever going to be anything more sort of advice that Sally gave. Always know that it was me. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Are they drunk? Why? Oh, I guess. Alright, well, I, I don't know. Zach, I don't know. You've been drinking. And she's already had to talk to you a couple times. Oh, I'm anxious about how that's going to go. And we're running out of time in this episode, and it's a two parter. Oh, no. You said Felicity, something about uh, not having as much money as she does, or as her friends do. I uh, don't think it matters. I don't, I don't know, but this is who I am. I got, I got a scholarship from my high school, too. And mine came through, but it was only for $1,000. Mm, that's not nearly enough. So I applied for 28 separate grants. I got three of them. Another 5000 I had to take out a loan that'll haunt me till I'm 30. I wrote letters to more companies than I can remember begging to be sponsored. I got the RA so I could dorm for free. I, some, I went to embarrassing lengths to pay a lot of money to be here right now talking to you so here's my point no one cares no one cares no one how does I and no one cares how you do it either no one really truly those kids in my truthfully i mean i mean i don't know why she thinks it's a big deal it means nothing at least to me how much money people have or how they accomplish the things they want to do i mean as long as you go about it in like a i'm not gonna pretend you know, beating, unless you're not, you know, hurting other people to do it. I agree. That's what I was saying before. That's what scholarships are for. And you try to get as many as you can. It doesn't matter what they're for or how you get it. So what is she going to do? Like, it seems like this episode is shaping up to be a two-parter about whether or not Elena's gonna stay, but that doesn't really seem, like, crucial to make it a two-part episode. Not that I have anything against Elena, but she just sort of became a character. We talked, and she offered me full tuition, no terms. Mm hmm That's great. That's great. Yeah, except I told her I wanted to add a term. Back. Dr. Sim is at her own term. When I get to be a doctor, then I make the same offer to someone else. Oh, that's so nice. So, thank you. Not me getting teary eyed. Alright, so the Elena thing is figured out in part one. So, what? Why is this a part one? Is it gonna have to be with Julie and Zach? So, uh, Blair told me what you did. Oh, Blair is his name. Helping her out, Elena. Finding her that scholarship, that was, that was really cool. She didn't think so at first. 
She does now. All right, so we're moving back in the direction of friendship, it looks like. Hey. Hey. Hmm. I guess things okay? didn't go well with Zach. I'm fine. I don't know that she is. Come on, Julie, talk. Are you sure you're okay? I'm fine. I just want my sweater back. It makes me feel good. I just would like it back. All right, obviously something happened with Zach. So what is it? Oh. Hey. Yeah. What's going on? Oh. We came back here last night, me and Zach. Uh-huh. Doesn't seem like you had a good time, though. So, did you sleep with him? Did you want to sleep with him? He was pretty aggressive. And all this time I was Prozac? Not Prozac, but I was for Zach. He just fell asleep when he was finished. Oh, Julie. He just rolled over and fell asleep. Oh. Julie, he didn't... <sighs> I don't know why I'm so surprised. I am. I thought he was one of the good ones. But you didn't want to. It doesn't seem like it. Have sex with him. No. <sighs> Well, I guess we figured out why it's part one. Oh, my God. No. Oh, I feel terrible. That was not at all what I wanted from this relationship. I mean, we definitely established the fact that he wanted stuff when he kept trying to feel her up and she kept moving his hand away. And he kept pulling it back again and again. But he apologized, and I thought, like, he understood where she was coming from at that point. And I thought it was finished. But then they came back from the guitar session or whatever. And he had been drinking. And I said immediately, I said, is he drunk? Because it just seemed like he was drunk. And then I saw the beer bottle in his hands, and I was like, oh... And I was hoping that it was going to end up sort of like maybe him trying something and her saying no and then him being like drunk and going to sleep. I did not really expect that until Felicity came to the door and Julie was the way she was. And this is like episode seven of the show. So... I feel like usually a an event like this in a show might come later on after our characters are more developed or we care enough about them, but I do really feel like this had an impact and I believed it and it was believable and I really thought she and Zach, like I cared about them as a couple. If you've been watching along, you've heard me say it for like the past three episodes that I really like them together. And I was very, very wrong, apparently. And there is no excuse. I don't care that he was drunk. There's no way he can come back from this. It's unredeemable. I mean, if this were some kind of like a supernatural show, I feel like it's something that you could have a redemption arc on, maybe, but not in 
the real world, like in contemporary TV, there is no way to redeem this sort of an act. So I don't know what, 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 what we're going to do now. I mean, I don't know. And because it is 1998, maybe something like that. I mean, it's 2023 and you still, whenever you report something like this, you're still not believed. So I can't imagine what it was like in 1998. So what does she do? Who does she tell? Who's going to believe her? I don't know. But I'm saddened by this. I mean, obviously, I'm certainly not, no one's going to be happy about this. And the thing is, like, there were a lot of heavy stuff this episode between Elena potentially getting kicked out of school because she had no money and this happening with Julie and like none of Felicity's problems seemed bad because like Felicity trying to draw a line with Noel or whatever seems like almost nothing in comparison to all the other issues that have occurred this episode. And like, I don't really even, at this point, I don't care about anything that's going on with Felicity because I care about Julie, and I have no idea where where we go from here. And I'm sure they're going to try to, like, I shouldn't say that, but I think maybe they'll try to spin it like he was drunk, it wouldn't have happened if he was sober, yada, yada, yada. And even if she says... Like, okay, fine, and they break up and they never talk again. It's still not, it still doesn't excuse him. It's still not enough of an excuse. So I don't know. I don't know. But, okay. Also, I was thinking about how I didn't want to not watch part two. And in all honesty, I'm actually not that excited to watch part two now. Not because I didn't like part one, but because I don't want to continue to watch Julie in pain. And I also am very concerned about how this, what the outcome of this is going to be. Especially, like I said, because it is the 90s and even today, the outcome for this wouldn't be good. So I guess we're going to have to see. But... I am not going to watch it right now, but I will probably watch it within the next couple of days, which I'm already sort of anxious about having to do. Um, so that's where I'm going to stop right now. Um, I don't know necessarily that I had a good time, but it was a good episode, um, and I hope that you enjoyed watching it with me. That's all for now. Um, I'll see you soon. Bye.